Richie, many congratulations. You sit there, a winner, a major winner in PDC darts. What are the emotions like right at this moment in time? I, I, I don't, it, it'd take a day or two to sink in, I think. I mean, isn't every day you'd be a major winner. I've not even won a tournament on the Pro Tour, let alone win a major, so it's, it, it's great. But it's going to take two days, at least. Tuttle down in the final, and you found something when you really needed it and just went away. In those closing moments, what, what was it like? Because I know that you said before that you've suffered with nerves and trying to get over the line. So in, in that moment, what was it like trying to control it? I was just saying, big numbers, just get a little double, don't miss about, just take it out straight, just kill it. And hopefully it did, or frankly it did. How does tonight change your life? Because obviously you've won a lot of money, you're a major champion and we know what doors that can open down the line. So how does today change your life? Uh, majorly. I mean, I was, I've done an interview earlier, and that was before the final, I think, and I said, even that, it will change my life. And obviously... Getting a win, a lot more money, it is going to be massive for me and my family. Looking ahead, do you know, obviously a lot when people have won their first one, they've said they don't want to be known as a one-time wonder. Is that something that you're now looking at and is it a case of now I've won one, that hunger there is to go and get more? 100%. I've, I've got confidence, I've got hunger. I can't say I've always been, oh, I could lose to him, but I ain't got no fear no more. And the run that you've been on here and the players that you've beaten, going forward into any tournament now, is that fear gone of trying to play to anyone in the top of the echelons? Of 100%. The I mean, I've never been one to fear anyone, but I've always struggled at the end of games. But now I know I can kill them off and win, and obviously win. Which is many congratulations. Thank you very much, Carl. Richie, earlier this week you said that you looked at Mike Dedeka and asked the question, well, why can't I? Well, people look at you now and ask the same question, because you've been playing darts a long time. There've been people on tour who've been playing darts a long time and not come close to winning the major. Well, they now look at you and think, well, actually, he, he can inspire us. Uh, yeah, I don't think nowadays the rankings don't matter if you're one or fifty, one to eight. Everyone there can win a tournament. There, easy you can get hundreds. I've always said that. Mike did send the benchmark to think. Oh, come on, we can all do it. Now there's be so many more tournaments at the end of the year now. Of course, you're in the, the Grand Slam of Darts. How, how do you, after such a big win, prepare mentally? And I know that you said, just get two wins in the belt, see where it goes. Do the goalposts now change? Or, well, actually, maybe get three or four wins and you never know because I can do this. For the Grand Slam, I just literally go home, chill out for over many days and just reboot, enjoy it. And I'll be back there practicing and I ain't worried who I play, who's in my group. They're going to worry about me, so see what happens. I don't know how much time you spend on social media, but there are people calling themselves the Ed House Ultras now. You've got yourself a little <laughs> cult following. How does that feel that you've got people chanting your name and they were singing your song out there? I heard it. I, I've not seen it, but I heard it from Dan Dawson. And then I was like, who's that? <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't really go on social media too much. But it, it's nice. Especially when you go to Germany and it, they all cheer my name, it's good. Richie, huge congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we have uh, many good players going out uh, early in the tournament, like Lippe van Gerben, and also with Gary Anderson. Uh, when was the first time you thought about, like, I could win this tournament? Or is it? A dart before I won it. <laughs> I could lose it from there, it doesn't matter what the score is. As soon as I had that, I can't remember what it was now, and I had that one dart, well, just now I can win it. I've never fought before. Is it every game at a time? I said two games before, it changed my life and it was just literally just building blocks. Until that last start went in, that's where I thought, that's it. Uh, and as the guru said, uh, many tournaments to come now, Grand Slam of Darts, Players Championship, players championship Finals, uh, World Darts Championship. Um, would you say, what is your chance of now being capable of winning tournaments? Um, you think about getting other trophies in the next couple of months? It's in my hands. I could beat anyone, I could lose to anyone. Depends what me turns up on a day. I've always said that from day one. As soon as I started playing darts. It's just me. What happens? Thanks. No problem. Richard, I only spoke to Mike the Decker after he won his first one. He tried to go to the Pro Tour and he said he got there and he was emotionally 
knackered from it. Are you going to go and play or are you going to pull out the two titles after what's been an incredible weekend? No, to be fair, I was going to pull out, but my mate Lee Cox has just been put up from the Challenge Tour. He'll, I'll go with him and practice with him. So, what, what happens to me is to me, just, I'd just like to be there for him. So, yeah. <laughs> I should pull out, but no way. <laughs> <laughs> Which is congratulations. Thank you.